Hello, this is Casey. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to myself about my life. I am an epileptic. I'm going through surgery soon. So I'm just talking about my life with this and just some random stuff in case I forget everything. Uh, so one reason I'm doing the surgery is just going to the neurologist can be terrifying. I mean, you see special needs children. You see parents who have special needs with their grown up children or their caretakers. You see grown up children who have special needs with their parents. And if my parents were in Japan, they would be with me because that's sometimes I'm lucky enough to not be that bad, but it could be, I definitely could be worse. You know, maybe the surgeries will let me get better, but I definitely could be worse. So imagine whatever that thing is that you have that your life revolves around, whether it's your children, your dogs, your job, your sports team, whatever it is. My thing is epilepsy. Everything I have to do revolves around epilepsy. I have alarms going off all the time to tell me to take my pills. I have, I'm not supposed to ride a bicycle, go swimming, lift weights, do jujitsu anymore, uh, watch certain movies, uh, play certain video games and do this, that, and the other thing, drink alcohol, blah, 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 blah. Flashing lights don't bother me, but I just kind of think they're annoying. That's all. Uh, you know, I don't know necessarily what I'm supposed to do. Just wrap myself in bubble wrap and stay inside and eat jello and pudding all day, you know. So it gets to be tough. Uh, so now on to different random stuff. I'm pretty addicted to lip balm. I don't know when this started. I don't use the same brand all the time. I don't use the same style all the time. But I've always got it on me. I've always got one or two spares near me. The only time I really don't have it is when I'm naked in the shower. Uh, Mappius in a hoodie and a t-shirt. Uh, the first album I tried to buy, or the first album I got was either the Bobby McFerrin Don't Worry Be Happy or CNC Music Factory, whatever their big single is, I can't remember. The first album I wanted to get was the tape, Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction. And I was close, so I was really close. But when I was with my mom, so she asked the guy at the record store, you know, does this tape have naughty language on it? And I was standing behind him, behind my mom going, no, no, no. And he said, I, I'm sorry, it does have bad language on it. So I've actually never actually got the... Appetite for Destruction album, but I'm not really I'm not really a Guns N' Roses fan anymore. Uh, my first tattoo was Darth Vader on my leg. Uh, I went with a buddy from NYU. We were both getting get tattoos, and he kind of went out. Uh, then I just started to get one or two or three a year, and they just add up after a while. My advice is to go to the best artists, but my best advice is just make sure they mean something. Uh, I have a, the only tattoo I regret is I have a tattoo, it used to be Deadpool before Deadpool was big, but uh, I just got tired of explaining that it wasn't Spider-Man because nobody knew who it was. So I covered it up with something else that doesn't mean anything. Even I just got Deadpool because I thought it was he was cool, but that was pretty much the end of it. Um, and I covered it up with something I thought was cool, but it just doesn't mean anything. Um, the first baseball game I saw was in the Minnesota, what was it, the Metrodome? It was the Twins versus the Athletics. I saw Kirby Puckett against the Bash Brothers. It was phenomenal. Uh, my favorite baseball players are probably number one is probably Mark McGuire, and then and it's probably a three-way tie: Mark McGuire, Kirby Puckett, and Bo Jackson. I'm 
based my signature off of the Kansas City Royals hat or logo. It's just a K and a C. It's a lot easier to do and a lot faster than C-A-S-E-Y. Uh, my first bad boy to rebellion thing, I was with some other guys from high school and I did chewing tobacco. I was probably 14 or 15 years old. And for about, let's say, five minutes, I felt really good. And then I felt really bad. And I just puked my guts out. Uh, even now, if I smell Kodiak, anything wintergreen, I don't even really like wintergreen gum. I get pretty queasy. Um, my mom and dad aren't really drinkers, but, you know, when they were, let's say, when I was younger, they would let me try beer, and I was like, I'm never going to drink that. That's disgusting. <laughs> but, like I said, they're not big drinkers, so I don't know if they were given a bottle of Irish whiskey. They had a bottle of Bushmills on top of the fridge for who knows how long. Maybe they still have it. <laughs> but I don't know how old I was. Let's just say early teens or something. And the only time I ever saw people drinking whiskey was in movies. So I just thought you were supposed to take it by the, you know, and just drink it. So that's what I tried doing it, you know. I didn't throw up, but I think I was really close. And uh, I was like, you know what? That's, that's another thing I'm never going to do. Uh, thanks for talking. Thanks for listening. Uh, I hope you learned a little bit about me, about yourself, about myself. Okay. Thanks for listening. Bye.